Jane in County Antrim. Morning, Jane. Good morning, Stephen. Morning. Stephen, I won't be shedding any tears about Arlene Foster. Arlene Foster was a terribly weak leader. She compromised. She made a statement at breakfast time in the morning. By lunchtime, she had co- totally contradicted it. She had, she supported, she unashamedly supported a gay candidate in the last council election. She was photographed together with other DUP members, smiling in total agreement. What's your problem with supporting a gay candidate? Yeah. What's your problem with that? I have a great deal of a problem with it. Sodomy is the word used in the word of God. So you don't... condemned in God's word. It is sinful. It is evil. So you do not think that someone in this country should be judged on, if they're a politician, should be judged on their policies, their values, yes, they what should. they can do for yes. a community. You're more interested in someone's sex life, are you? I'm interested in somebody who would not be anti-scripture, would do something that was wrong. I'm interested in something who would be totally honest, totally truthful. Where's your Christian values to Pardon? gay people? Where are your Christian values I, to gay I, people? My, my plumb line is the word of God. Really? Your, inter- your interpretation of the word, no, word of not, God? No, I make mistakes. Are you? Do you? So should people not stand beside you then if you're a sinner? I don't stand up and openly and unashamedly support something that is contrary to God's word. By the way, I'm not saying that gay people are sinners, but you are. It's not me that says it. It's the word of God says it's it. your interpretation of what God says. I have never said they were sinners. Right. You are distorting that. No, I, I guess I guess I, I guess I'm just wondering if you're making Arlene Foster uh, a lot more popular today well, when you castigate her when you castigate her for standing beside a human being because she uh, because she supports her policies because she's a member of her party because she's a citizen with equal rights like anybody else, and then we get people like you who who what. Are you suggesting that Arlene Foster should distance herself from a human being because of their sexuality? Is that what you're saying? Arlene Foster... How, how far away do you stand from someone who's gay in your world? Arlene Foster openly supported a gay person. Right, so what, and so, gay, so, gay people are... Sodomy is condemned in God's word. And you say that I'm condemning her. I'm not condemning her. I'm right. God's word that condemns So how far away in your world should someone stand from a gay person? It's not a question of standing, to support them. But, well, so what do you do? Do you, do you isolate them? Do you isolate them, Jane? In that photograph, I think there was four or five. Do you isolate them? To Listen to my question. Do you isolate gay people in your world? I don't, I don't isolate them. What do you but do? I don't agree with them. I, a murderer, I wouldn't agree with a murderer. So you're not likening gay people to murderers? Well, I mean, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't support Thieves? Right, so you're not likening them to thieves, are you? You know, if, if you... Well, if, it's not me that says it. Right. I, I, I didn't make the commandment. Right. It wasn't me that wrote scripture. Right. But Arlene Foster was leaving that aside. She was she could have, would try to hide behind a corkscrew. She, she realised that she had to get the gay community on board to get votes. And there was a poll, I think it was in February there. And it brought Jim Allister and the Alliance Support Party the chance that they could well overtake her in the polls. She panicked. She went absolutely berserk. Can I just ask you this? Because you're, you know, and I, I obviously we've got another 45 minutes of the programme, so there's loads of time to, to talk about the politics. But actually, the reason why your call is relevant uh, to this discussion this morning is because there will be tension within the DUP as to what their policy should be on, on, on gay issues and we've seen that uh, with conversion ther- therapy. So you're actually representing um, one of the aspects that they know they need to be um, aware of. Do, do, do you ever, Jane, think to yourself of the damage that you're personally doing uh, to gay people who may be vulnerable, where in your Bible does it instruct you to hurt gay people and to destroy their self-esteem 
and to label them like thieves and murderers. Where does it say that in your Bible? Well, it condemns sodomy. Where does it's it say not, that? Is it condemning it, Stephen? There's a difference between no, 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 what no. I say and what God's but word says. But there's not, because this morning on this radio program, you are saying it. So where are where in your Bible does it entitle you to attack gay people like you just have? I'm pointing out error. Am I not allowed to do that? You are, and I'm allowed to question you. Yeah. I have no no problem if if somebody stole something. Have I got to condone that? Have I got to condone everything? All sorts of It's not illegal to be world. gay, Jane. Have I got to have you any drunken driving and all that? Have you it. have you any Christian warmth or humanity to gay people? No, it's not a question of I I no. I know gay people. Do you? I have no animosity towards them as people. I dislike their lifestyle. Really, that's a different matter. Would, would you feel Would you feel it appropriate for me to talk about your sex life? Shall we, shall, we dis- shall we discuss it now? Are you being trying to be offensive? Are you trying to be Where offensive to gay people? Man and woman, he didn't ordain. Do you uh, think it? Do you think it would be a? Do you living with men and women living with women? Do you think it would be appropriate for me to have a phone in right now about your sex life? I'm not discussing my sex life. But you're I'm discussing everybody else's. Economy. But you're discussing everybody else's. I'm not discussing everybody else's. I'm warning them. It is, uh, it is evil. It is sinful. It is. So I mean, you're quite happy to. Arlene Foster had a had a okay. problem. She wanted to take the gay folk on board. And you don't. And, hmm? and you don't. She wanted votes from them. That's what it was all what, about. What, what would these the gay these gay folk who you talk about? And again. This is at the heart of where the DUP is. They've got to decide as the party where they go with people like you. Do yes, they want to attract people like you? Therapy has brought this to a head. It has come to the head where it can no longer be swept under the carpet. Arlene wasn't willing enough to stand up a cup ten days ago, and and she wanted it. Saying she wanted it covered up. Why would she want to cover up something if she was prepared? Cover up what? She didn't want it to be a. a, a she didn't want us to go to a vote and people be named. Right. About this gay, con- gay con- uh, conversion. Do you believe you can? Conv- you believe conversion therapy should be legal in this country? Do you? I believe that a, a minister of the gospel, a faithful minister of the gospel, if some of his congregation, or indeed somebody who was a total stranger, came to him and said to him, "I have a problem here. I feel." that that minister, faithful, godly man, should be able to guide them and show them and pray with them. That, if I was in trouble, if I had a real problem and I went to my clergyman and said, look here, I have a difficulty. Sure. Can you help me? And I would like to think that he would give me guidance. And that guidance would be from the word of God. Jane, thank you for your call this morning. Thank you very much indeed, Jane.